Hi, this is Josh from Sibelius Tutorials. This week we are covering how to record into Sibelius using FlexaTime with only the QWERTY keyboard on the Windows operating system. To get started, here I have an empty piano score. To record into Sibelius using only the QWERTY keyboard, your QWERTY input needs to be toggled on. In Sibelius, go to the View ribbon tab and over to the right under Panels, check the box next to Keyboard to toggle on the keyboard panel. You can also toggle the keyboard panel using the keyboard shortcut Control, Alt, and B. Once the keyboard panel is showing, click the QWERTY input as shown here. With this selected, you will notice that the keyboard has grayed out all the keys except for an octave. This octave represents the keys on the keyboard. So A represents the C note, W, C sharp or D flat, S, the D note, and so on. When I try to play, you will notice when I hold on to a key, it will repeat the note almost as if I was typing text into a Word document. This is because repeated keystrokes is turned on by default on the Windows operating system. To disable this, let's go to the Start menu, Control Panel, Ease of Access, and click on Change How Your Keyboard Works. In this window, scroll down to Turn On Filter Keys and click Apply. This toggles on our filter keys. Next, we need to change the settings for the filter keys. Click on Set Up Filter Keys in the same window and make sure Turn On Filter Keys is turned on at the top. In the filter options below, go to Setup Repeat Keys and Slow Keys. In this window, click on Ignore All Repeated Keystrokes and make sure to click Apply. Now back in Sibelius, notice when I hold on to a key on the QWERTY keyboard, it no longer repeats the note and makes it possible to record in with FlexaTime using my QWERTY keyboard. Let's select the first measure to tell Sibelius where I want to begin recording. Go to the Play tab and click Record. I can now easily record into Sibelius with FlexaTime with my keyboard. To change which octave you are playing in on, when QWERTY input is on, your keys Z and X act as an octave up and down toggle. For the bass clef, I need to go down two octaves. Now, let's select our measure and record in again. You will notice sometimes when you record in using FlexaTime, it may not display the notes correctly. This can be because it has not been quantized. Remember, renotate performance in Sibelius can be your friend in this matter. Simply select your music passage and go to No Input Ribbon, FlexaTime, and click Renotate Performance. In this window, set your minimum duration and click OK. Thanks again for tuning in to Sibelius Tutorials. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful as it can cancel out needing to bring a MIDI controller when traveling or simply help out your workflow when using Sibelius. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and be sure to tune in every Monday at 5pm for new tutorials for Avid Sibelius. I'll see you guys next time.